we had a student a few years ago who uh, a local company, Nominet, asked uh, them to model some of their infrastructure. Now, if you're not aware of it, Nominet uh, basically run .uk. So if you're looking up any computer which has got something .uk, you're using their servers. And they wanted to model to see if their uh, equipment was uh, suitable for the task. Uh, so we set up a model using our uh, systems here uh, to simulate. Obviously, we don't, we can't reproduce their setup. And the students uh, produced a wonderful piece of work, which Nominet were very appreciative of. Uh, students will quite often use the HPC, our high uh, high performance computer, uh, to do large number crunching tasks. We are doing quite a bit of work at the moment in what they call intelligent transport systems. And these are basically, can you navigate a car remotely? Can you get a quadcopter to fly uh, itself? And our students help with uh, those projects, those research projects, and they use the equipment that we have for those research projects. And of course, all computing students use a computer, uh, which we provide them uh, for. As part of our, uh, well, our current first year students actually get a Raspberry Pi. And uh, they get, we give them to them uh, when they come here and they use that in part of their courses as well. And we encourage them to play around with them themselves. Can I explain the sorts of projects uh, a CCT student will do? Well, really, it will depend on where they're doing them. So, for instance, on some of our courses, for instance, the course we teach in this room, we teach them how to look after large uh, IT uh, infrastructures. And we get them to install their own systems and play around exactly the same way as if they were running the IT in a company. We, we expect the same sort of thing. And we're quite fortunate in that we get our own IT staff who do this for a living to come in and critique what it is they do. So that's an example of the sort of thing we would do in this room. Uh, our programming exercises, we tend to base around real world problems. And in fact, uh, one of the uh, problems we're having at the moment is managing timetabling. So guess what's going to be a, a coursework on one of the modules next semester? Uh, producing a timetabling system for us. Some of our students will go on and do an independent study module. So, for instance, a few years ago, we had a local company who had a very serious uh, IT problem. They needed this piece of software developed and they didn't have the resources. So what happened was our students came along and formed a team and under our supervision, produced this software for them. And we were able, because they'd done it in such a professional manner and they had followed the software engineering principles, the project management principles, it documented all, we were actually able to give them credit for it. It doesn't happen all that often, but we can do that sort of thing. Uh, when it comes to dis uh, dissertation, we can do uh, a lot of our projects are based in real world scenarios. Uh, sometimes it's uh, someone they know wants something developed uh, for a company or an organisation. Sometimes it's something that they want to do. Uh, one of our students was a part-time uh, bagpipe tutor. So as his dissertation, he wrote a programme to help him teach people how to play the bagpipes. 